I'm David Gergen. I'm sorry I couldn't join you in the first few moments, but I, I was able to hear Karen, and we just want to thank you and tell you how honored we feel to be here with you this evening and how proud so many at Harvard are. Uh, in the materials that was submitted on behalf of your nomination, uh, there was a quote from the former head of the Asia Society, who was also a professor at uh, Beijing University, it's, who said, she's Tinkerbell. She goes into rooms and lights them up. And I think that we should amend that to say she goes into people's hearts and opens them up. Uh, and we thank you so much for what you're doing. I know uh, Chris Latz uh, and Dutch Leonard and Marie Danziger must take special pride uh, tonight here that one of their former students uh, is, is, has developed in this way, is nurtured. I mean, well, you know, if you're on a faculty, what greater pride can you take than to see one of your former students uh, uh, take this road in life uh, and do so much for so many? Uh, and you've also, I must tell you, given us pause about our own country as you were speaking tonight. I'm sure everyone here was reflecting on that as well. Uh, I do think it's appropriate as we end tonight to thank some individuals who have played a significant role here. And I want to start uh, with Casey Otis Cote. Casey, if you'd stand up, just so everyone knows, this woman <laughs> run. <clears throat> <Yeah. clears throat> uh, working with Donna Calico, she has been so uh, such a powerful force for bringing this Gleisman program alive. And we're just really thankful. Casey, uh, I, I, when D Dean Elwood first met her, he called me up and said, where did you find her? Where did you find her? How can I find another one? Uh, and uh, uh, I know there are other things you should know about the, the judging committee. There were a group of seven of us, uh, uh, two of whom, two, uh, three of whom were here on the faculty. Marshall Gans is here on the faculty. Marshall, where is Marshall? He's here tonight. I thought he was. He, he's teaching. Well, that's where Marshall ought to be. I mean, he's a wonderful teacher. And, and as, and, uh, uh, he, uh, as many of you know, he was uh, he was uh, had a big influence in the Obama campaign during the, in, in helping them organize uh, uh, in the field, and goes all the way back to, uh, to California and, and uh, migrant workers and the whole Cesar Chavez period, as many of you know. Uh, David Ager was another uh, judge. David Ager it is uh, uh, teaches over in the college. Started a very successful uh, course on social entrepreneurship. Andy Zalecki, who's here, had uh, a lot to do with helping us form a relationship with him. And I think that Marshall and, and, and David in some ways represent the two strands of, of what Karen Shaw is about, and that is the social activism strand uh, uh, that this program honors, and also the social entrepreneurship. For those of you who are younger, to hear, you know, that she, these various fellowships along, along the way, Echoing Green, Ashoka, uh, Skull Fellowship, all of you know who are, you know, budding social entrepreneurs that those are major stepping stones along the way. So it was sort of nice to see. Cause we, we've been trying to think how does the Kennedy School, how does Harvard bring those two strands together of social activism and social entrepreneurship? And you embody that for us. So we're, we're appreciative of that. So those two, uh, I'm also a judge, but we have uh, some very distinguished people who have been participating in this, uh, in the judging. Uh, you, you should know that uh, uh, Dr. Fang Li Zhu, uh, who was an astrophysicist and a Chinese democracy advocate, served as one of our international judges. Uh, uh, a Marie Corrigan McGuire of Northern Ireland, a Nobel Peace Prize winner, was a judge uh, for this. Tuck Dunlop, who was the executive director of Creating Hope International. And that was the organization, as you remember, from Afghanistan that we honored just two years ago uh, with this program. So we've had some very, very good people. And we had, uh, with, with, with Casey's work reaching out, uh, we had nominations from across the world. We had nominations coming from organizations from 22 different countries uh, for, this, uh, uh, for this award. And it was, a, um, it, it was a lot of serious work went into this. Now, I can tell you one of the people that I think would have loved to have been here and would take great pride in this uh, was, the, was Alan Gleitzman himself. 
Uh, many of you probably have never met Alan Gleitzman. The president unfortunately died back in 2006. But he started this Gleitzman Awards program uh, uh, way back in the 1990s. And one year, uh, we, we, the, the awards program recognizes one or two international activists, and the next year, it's American activists, and, and goes back and forth. Last year, Billy Shore uh, was the uh, American activist and social entrepreneur uh, voted on by uh, uh, a, a different selection committee. Uh, that uh, and you can see uh, um, uh, we've had some uh, we've had some terrific people. But just a word about Alan Kleitzman. Um, he was uh, he was a very special man who lived in California, became deeply interested in social change, and wanted to start a program to honor uh, activists. Uh, and he ran it himself for a number of years with his partner Cherie Roche, who has been here normally for these awards. Anyway, some years ago, he brought it here to Harvard, and our Center for Public Leadership became the host uh, and the home for that program. And uh, Alan, uh, 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 each year, would come with Cherie, and we would have these awards. And then he died in 2006. But before his death, he was so struck by the environment here and what was the creativity and the sort of nurturing of social activists and social entrepreneurships that he left a significant gift. He left his entire bequest uh, to the county school, to our center, for a program in social uh, innovation, social change. Uh, and there are three components to that program. The first is the uh, awards program each year. Uh, the second is, a, is that the, the center, working with the Hauser Center and others, uh, is, is trying to promote uh, social activism, trying to understand it, trying to um, yeah, do courses in it. Uh, I, I should tell you the gift uh, was over $20 million, closer to 25. And we received it after his death in 2006. It, came in, it started coming in 2007, 2008. And the first thing that happened was it went into the Harvard Endowment and it disappeared. <laughs> and I, it went un quote, underwater, as they call it. Uh, and only recently, as, as you know, the Commonwealth has passed a law which allows uh, some tapping of those funds. We still haven't been able to draw as fully upon those funds, and that appropriately we're waiting for them to recover, as they will. Uh, and, and they will allow this program to expand. But I want you to know that with these funds, we've also begun the third leg of the uh, stool, if you would, and that is a program of fellowships. And we have six student fellowships. Uh, this year at the Kennedy School, the Gleitzman Fellows, uh, uh, and uh, named in Alan's honor. And we have four of them here tonight. Let me just read their names and just ask them to stand. Leah Stern, Amanda Castlecraft, Jana, Johnny Falla, and Ankur Shukla. Will you four please stand? Uh, <clears throat> And, and I want to tell you tonight that your charge uh, as, as Alice Allen Gleisman Fellows uh, is 10, 15, 20 years from now, we want to see you on this stage. <laughs> we want to see you competing for this award. That's what, there's so many here who care deeply about it. You're the future. You're the future, Karen shows. And we, those of you who are students now, you can see that we have the faculty, we have the kind of uh, uh, concern, we have the, the commitment uh, here on this campus uh, to nurture the future uh, Karens. And we're just so proud to call you one of our own and to take, to take a, have a sense. You give us real reassurance about what the meaning of the, of the work here, here is. And so we thank you for that. We salute you for it. And Karen, we hope you will come back to Christine's class. Okay. <laughs> thank you.